Alright, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today we're going to discuss something I never knew before until a couple days ago. Uh, well, pi is wrong, apparently. Like, uh, it was defined just... It, it was not necessarily wrong, just it was defined, uh, like, illogically. And tau is much better. I'll explain what tau is. And, uh, well, I learned about this from uh, what uh, guinea pig 713 is a shout-out to him. He's a subscriber of mine. Uh, he actually showed me in my other video and commented that there's this uh, site called Tau Day that explains w what, um, what I'm trying to get at. Uh, basically, yeah, so this site, you showed me tauday.com if I go there. Tauday.com. So, yeah, so this guy, Michael Hardle, he, he wrote this Tau Manifesto, but you can actually read it all on, online. Uh, it basically explains how pi was defined badly, like, it it was really illogical. Not a, a different uh, definition using radius instead of diameters is much better. Well, I'll explain uh, what he means by that. But this is really good. Uh, I read this. this is really interesting. And uh, yeah, he is he is right. Uh, tau actually, I just learned I is much better than using actually pi. I'll explain. So from my other video, I show what pi is and radians and whatnot. So pi is defined as circumference over diameter of uh, any circle. Well, let's just draw a circle. Let's draw this circle. So basically a circle, this is... So a circle is defined is basically a curve with every point um, a distance r from center. Um, let's erase. Erase this center. So basically, r is this radius. So here's a here's the point. R this is the center, and it's basically anything r. Anywhere around is, is the same distance from it, R. Uh, just draw, draw it from there. Okay, so basically, what uh, the Michael was arguing, he's arguing that, well, tau, this is a bad definition. You're using diameter, but diameter is not really in this. It's not, this is not present. The circumference is obviously the, the distance around. So C is all the way around. So you have this uh, definition of circle that doesn't really involve diameter. Uh, so then, why are you using diameter in, in the definition? So, tau is a Greek letter, and uh, he he said, why not, this is how it should have been defined. It should have been like this, and then, then do all the math and whatnot. So, pi is relative, yeah, very well known and very important in math. But the thing is, even it was not, uh, it just isn't logical. Like, let's say, compare this to to that, so then you'll get... Um, let's see, pi is actually, if you compare it, d is equal to 2r, because d diameter is just 2r, 2 times r. So this is just half of this, so you'll have, uh, yeah, so this will be tau divided by 2. So that's all it is, and you get tau equals to 2 pi. So now, this is what is interesting, this 2, all, so it's basically like defining a half, all you're doing it's defining half of something and you always need to times it by two. I'll give an example. So we will draw a circle right now. Let's get a circle in here. Um, we'll use, okay, we'll use this circle for, here we will draw, this will be using, let's go radians. Radians I showed in my other video. You can watch it. Uh, my other video with radians and uh, what they are. So let's say this is distance r. And this is using, let's go with um, pi. So we use pi, the, the 360 degrees uh, is equal to 2 pi. That's one full turn. So 2 pi. So why is, that's the thing. There's a 2 there for some reason. So if I go one quarter turn, this is one turn. One turn equals 2 pi. If I go one quarter, so one quarter turn equals this would be just pi over 2. Uh, you think it's pi over 4, but it's not. It's actually, you have to, the denominator divided by 2 every time. If I were to go halfway, cut this in half, so this is half turn. One sec, I have a phone call. 
Oh yeah, so if you have a quarter, uh, I mean a one half turn, uh, what happens here actually is, um, yeah, th this actually doesn't, e you would think that that is equal to, this is turn, you think it equals to pi over 2, but no, it's actually equal to pi radians. So this is just ridiculous, like why are we using, why do we always, always have to memorize it to remove this 2? So, but if you use just this definition, if you see pi is, uh, tau is 2 pi, if I draw, say, another circle, well, let's draw another one right here, drag it here. So if I draw another circle, there's a center, there's R. If I, yeah, so then this full length is one turn. This is equal to tau, like there's one tau. Now if I go one quarter, one quarter turn, this equals to tau of four. This is like, that's so much easier than this. Why do you have to memorize this half? It's like imagine trying teaching a little kid or something, someone who had never knew about math, that this equals to one quarter turn equals to pi over two, compared to one over one turn equals pi over four. So it just doesn't make any sense. And then if you were to go again one turn, one one half turn. This is an R equals. This is equals equals tau over 2. So as you could see it is much better logically. And if you were to graph sine, I'll prove what sine is later, but if you were to graph sine of x, let's go sine of x, uh, and this is x, but this is in radians, uh, but using pi, let's go pi. So then you'll have something like this. And this is 2 pi, this is 360 degrees. And then this, this is halfway is pi. Why is halfway pi? It doesn't make any sense. This is pi over 2, and this is 3 pi over 2. So then this is obviously 1 over 4 uh, turns. Let's erase this. 1 over 4 turns, and then it just doesn't make any sense if you were going to go turn out 1 full. 1 is 2 pi. And then compare this vs, let's go sine x again. Now this one's harder to memorize, all this, this if you divide the denominator by 2, you can't, it's harder to just think about. If I go x but in using tau and then define radians based on that, I'll just get something like this. This is 1 tau, this is 3 quarter tau, this is half tau, and this is 1 quarter tau. So you can see it's just much easier, much more, like, it's just much easier to learn. It looks better. It makes more sense. So it just doesn't, doesn't mean, like, I don't understand why people initially define pi that way. And let's, let's even, this is one thing some people that say uh, is really good about pi. It, uh, using the, the area of a circle is pi r squared. Well, this, this looks really good. So it looks, underline looks really good and clean and elegant but it's not natural I'll tell you by not natural because in all of math uh, when you have function like this there's there is a divided by two this, this doesn't make any sense if I were to let's say I, I convert it to tau so pi equals to tau over two so you get area is equal to tau over yeah tau over two r squared. Okay, uh, let's go back to, um, I'll just write this down. So we have tau is 2 pi, and that just equals to 6.28, blah, blah, blah. So all it is is 2 times pi, whereas pi is equal to 3.14 and goes on. So all I'm doing is just times it by 2. And, and so then you have this. It doesn't look as good as this, but this is, this is actually more... Uh, quotation natural and I'll explain why let's say you have a regular curve like just say you have X this is Y and this is this is Y of X or yeah this is Y equals no this is this curve is Y equals X let me just erase it's not Y of X it's Y equals X or Y of X equals X so then this area here under it and this is similar to that. This area 
is just equal to y times x over 2. There's a 2 over there. And so uh, this is basically saying if you have an integral, I'll show what integrals are later, of let's say a function like y or I don't know, x dx, this just equals to x squared over over 2 plus a constant, but I'll show that later. So you understand there's, there's always this divided by 2 and if you use, um, I'll show you other stuff. Let's say here's, um, I'll just drag this down. Let's say, uh, let's say here's other, um, s what's it called, other squared uh, quadratic functions that have divided by 2, like distance falling, the relation between like, let's say, falling and d falling down, this is y going down, is this, this is gravity. As you can see, the amount of distance is it's the same way as uh, if you were drawing uh, the function or whatever, and it would be the area under. And this area, you have this divided by 2 because you're doing integral of a function like this. I'll explain what integrals later, but just, uh, yeah, if, if you just uh, bear with me. So you have uh, energy as well. Energy is also the curve, is the area under this, and there's this 1 over 2, because whenever you do an integral, you're going to have to divide by 2 there when you're integraling of a function like this because you're going to take it to a quadratic whenever you have like this stuff and then this one kinetic energy there's a squared and then but all of a sudden yeah then divided by two if, if we used tau here it's look it looks like all these this is natural uh, as opposed to uh, to just pi over r squared because all you're doing here is like removing this two because this is one if you put pi uh, tau equals two pi it just cancels so yeah you have that so it's like defining something based on halves and uh, here I'll show you this um, so if I were to grab this this is a, a FOIA series I'll just um, write this down For your series, I'll explain later, but uh, this is just a really advanced math. So what you can see, this is the original, like this is what people use. They always have this 2. Everywhere there's this 2 there. Always present. It just doesn't make any sense. Why do you need that? If you defined it correctly with R, you never have this 2. It just doesn't make any sense. It's like defining half of something. And it, yeah, it's like defining half of something. Defining half of something so you always need to times by two it just doesn't make any sense so yeah and I, I, I don't know why this this has taken like thousands of years or whatever now and that people have been using pi for so long and have no, not had a problem with actually like memorizing all these when you could have just done the natural and more logical way is just to find it based on radius because that's what's in the definition of a circle so yeah that's just basically yeah so I was just uh, like shocked to le learn this but it always made sense I always really wondered why there was a 2 in there and all, like all my years in math school and, and engineering and whatever so and uh, my reasoning is um, I think it started back then because say back then I assume radius was hard to measure. Hard to measure. I just scribble there measure. I think that's the reason. Uh, that may be a reason, but it's still it's been thousands of years and almost every computer program that uses radians or pi it, it uses the pi this way it's all this it just doesn't make any sense and, and try teaching to a kid uh, this way and if this was a pi how can you say this full circle is, is two pi it just doesn't make any sense but uh yeah anyways um now yeah, shout out to guinea pig 713 uh thanks for the info and and yeah, thanks for letting me know about tau day you can also go to tau day dot com which is um uh, it's uh this it's called Tau Day because there's Pi Day and that's celebrated and then they wanted to make their own version uh, Tau Day which celebrated the real truth of what it p Pi should have been defined as. Okay, So that's what it is. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think and well, tune in for another Math Easy Solution.